need a private tutor for your exam tomorrow? The private centers are closed. Need to meet your tutor tomorrow at 4 p.m.? You have to commute for an hour. Most countries, and especially here in the Middle East, we complement in-school education with after-school tutoring. Private tutoring is a standard for success. One out of three students struggle to find a tutor, and it takes on average four to five hours to find someone who's qualified, accessible, and available. Sinkers is your solution. Sinkers is a peer-to-peer -peer platform that connects students to highly qualified private tutors in three simple steps. All you do once you open the app is pick a course, select a pre-vetted tutor based on your preferences, and directly book a session. Move to demo, please. If you're looking to prep for your GMAT, let's say, or to learn a new language, download Sinker's app. Search for your course, for instance, math grade nine. Select a tutor based on your preferences, number of hours tutored, proximity. Select a preferred date and time. Then choose your payment method, cash or credit card. As soon as you confirm your booking with your tutor, you can instantly chat with your tutor and share your location, the material, and decide whether you'd like to meet in person or online via Sinkers platform. Back to slides, please. At Sinkers, we build our online tutoring system from scratch with note sharing, whiteboarding, and video functionalities. Once the session is done, a student trades the tutor, and as soon as it's, the session is done, after that, he received a progress report. We've automated at Sinkers our HR process in a way that any tutor can apply on the application. They submit their document, their interviews. Our machine learning algorithm are helping our HR team to pre-select our candidates. Sinkers would recommend you the best tutor because we have an algorithm that favors our tutors based on several criteria, like proximity, educational background, number of hours tutored. We use our graph database to connect students, tutors, and their interactions to show personalized recommendations in real time. Educational centers like My Tutor Beirut, etc., lack personalization and flexibility and have no easy access to online platform, which is quite unusual in the 21st century. Both online tutoring platform like Check, Teach Me Now, and educational centers lack flexibility and fail to invest in their tutor based on their performance. At Sinkers, we match students with peer tutors who have been in their shoes and have the same educational background. As for our tutors, we reward them based on the number of hours they teach. We provide them with internship opportunities, with training, and cash bonuses. Sinkers will cater for the MENA market and will be in Arabic. The MENA market is around $1.1 billion. Globally, the private tutoring market is worth $138 billion and is going to double in the next four years. We launched Sinkers in September 2016. We expanded to Dubai in 2018. Till date, we have 25,000 students, over 500 vetted tutors, and completed 29,000 of tutorings. In September 2016, we completed 40 hours. In September 2017, 400 hours. In September 2018, 4,000 hours were completed on sinkers. In less than one year, we were able to increase our revenue by 90%. We've also established a strategic partnership with the Ministry of Education in Dubai, which allowed us to sign a couple of MOUs with two schools and three universities. These institutions are endorsing sinkers and onboarding thousands of their students on the platform. Our business model is quite simple. We charge our tutors a 20% commission per transaction. 
We're also going to charge the institutions, universities, and schools a thousand dollars per month in exchange for analytics about their students' tutoring activities. Who's behind Sinkers? A team of four passionate people. Hi, I'm Audrey. I founded my first startup at 19 and have six years of experience in operation and business development. As for the Sinkers team, they have extensive experience in marketing, HR, product, and software development. Sinkers is looking to build the largest self-regulated community of knowledge exchange to make education accessible to all. If you'd like to contribute to this community and make a change, contact us today. Thank you. All right, judges, I think Ronnie wants to start. Um, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. So can you talk a little bit more about your current recruitment process and how, how much effort does it take to actually train and validate and verify all the tutors? It seems to me like a very kind of uh, heavy but delicate process. Uh, to recruit tutors, uh, first of all, it's very simple because we apply, we post a job on the university portal. We receive approximately 20 to 30 CVs per day in less than 24 hours. As soon as we receive application, they know that they have to download Sinker's app to apply. So we automated the whole process. It's done on the application. They have to submit their documents, CV, their transcript. They need an, a minimum of an 85 over 100 to be able to teach the course. And then also they submit their interview on the application. Once done, our algorithm pre-selects the top candidates and our HR team uh, thoroughly pre-screened them all, all right. the selected one. And I would like to mention also that we establish a partnership with the British Council who are training all of our tutors. Thank you. Uh, why the name Sinkers? It comes from two words, synchronization and thinkers. So we're syncing the thinkers. OK, cool. And from an analytics platform perspective, and I understand data, when you're charging $1,000 to the institutions, what are the kind of things that you're sharing with them? And why would they be interested in paying that amount of money? So we've already signed five MOUs, and we're already testing it with the universities. Uh, in terms of data, what we share with them is a number of our uh, is, is a number of students who are consuming private tutoring per major, per course, who are the brilliant tutors in their universities, for instance, that are teaching. And like that, they'll have a good insight about where is the gap, where is the need. And every time they revise their curriculum, for, in, for instance, they have to look at this data to adapt it. And it happened to us at AUB. Uh, the, the dean wanted to know more about what's going on in their market. It's great that you're connecting students with mentors. After a connection is made for the first time, what stops them from connecting offline? And that instead of the mentor getting 20%, taking the full 100 back? So uh, on, the, on the student side, we introduced a new feature called prepaid packages at a discounted rate. And parents, school students, and university students are loving it because they buy a bundle of hours ahead of time at a discounted rate. Then on the tutor side, because it's a marketplace, there is a competition, you have to build your profile. We show the number of hours tutored, how many uh, your reviews, and also our algorithm favors the one who uh, score high. Uh, and our retention rate is at 50% currently, returning users. Right? Yeah. I, I wanted to ask the same question because I built a marketplace, so I know that there is, yes. there's always a slippage, so people would just take the, the job and go offline, or take the tutor profile and just recruit them offline. So I, I wanted to know what's your strategy to fight that. So is, other than what you mentioned, is there anything else you're going to do or planning on doing? Sure. So an, an example, because also we signed MOUs with the universities, they were willing to reward their best tutors because all our tutors are brilliant university students, most of them, 90% of them. So they care about paying their tuition and the university will contribute to that and reward their top tutors by providing free credits, uh, by free credits, two to three credits. 
free at the university. Second, uh, as I've mentioned, we partner with the, minister, uh, the, with the British Council, so they only get a certificate that they're trained uh, once they complete over 100 hours on the application. Thank you. Audrey, my question to you is, when you think about building this as a global platform, how, what was the biggest challenge in taking it to Dubai, and how are you going to create this big vision of this peer-to-peer -peer platform? How are you going to do that? What's the biggest challenge? How will you overcome it? When we expanded to Dubai, honestly, our challenge was mainly to be able to adapt, not to a new culture, but they have several curricula. And not just in Lebanon, we have a couple. There they have almost worldwide curricula. So uh, we thought it was a challenge to recruit tutors. The first thing that we did, we approached top universities. And as soon as we did that, within three weeks, our supply, we recruited more than 200 to 300 tutors in less than three weeks. And because we established a strategic partnership with Dubai Future Accelerator, KHGA, and the Ministry of Education in Dubai, it has opened a lot of doors to us. Uh, but in terms of scalability, if we'd like to expand to other markets, how it works is on the supply side, which means the tutor, they apply, we apply or post a job at the university, and it's free of charge, receive application. On the demand side, which means the client, we have three strategic pillars. Uh, social media, targeted social media, Facebook and Instagram. We have strategic partnership like the Ministry of Education, the schools, the institutions. And the third one, we hire brand ambassadors who represent our brand and uh, refer their friends. Thank you. Thank you. All right, give it up for Thanks. Sinkers. <laughs>